So hi, I'm Eri Li and I'm the Music and Worship Director and a member at Chinese Community United Methodist Church in Oakland, California. I grew up uh, and trained as a classical pianist. Every summer I go to Kumi, Uganda and I teach music and worship to students who want to lead worship in their churches or you know, do music otherwise. It was in 2001 that Silver Omakeni was enrolled as a student. It was my custom to meet up with students, to go and visit their communities and churches. I said, Silver, I'd love to come and visit your community. So one day we took this bumpy, bumpy, bumpy bus ride, you know, all the way to Kumi. And he was this 20-something year old single man, unmarried, head of the household. And he had all these little children, like eight of them, one after the other. And the littlest one was like four. So I was like, I did not know that you, you were taking care of all these children. He's like, well, they're actually not my children, but you know, they're folks who have no one else to care for. And I said, you should organize and you know, set up something, I don't know. And so the next time I come to visit, they have this vision plan. It's like this grandiose vision plan and then they have a school built and it's multi-million dollars and maybe it's a testament to their faith um, because things happen. My church as a whole have been very supportive actually from the beginning. They're very encouraging and they actually support my annual mission trip. Um, they do special offerings. Tonight we're having a benefit dinner. It's a chance for our church members to tell the story to a wider audience and hope for partnerships from outside our own church membership. We're trying to raise funds for a school Youth and Child Visionary Ministries is the name of the organization in Uganda. Their vision is to care for children and youth who are at risk or disadvantaged because they've lost one or both parents through AIDS or other diseases. I think for our church members, it's really an opportunity to connect in a very personal and real way to the world outside of their own circles. And for them to connect in this way and to see into um, the lives of people who, who, who's, you know, whose circumstances are just so vastly different and yet connect in a human way and that they, they feel like, oh, you are in, in fact my brother. I think God's called me to God's specific purpose. I'm not always privy to it. I've seen it evolve. It's always interesting to me that wasn't exactly what I was thinking, but I've, I've learned at least by now not to be like too specific with myself about my own future plans. Um, I think God's had surprise turns for my life enough to, for me to just be a, at least a little bit open. Mm -hmm.